Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra for the month of March. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy after, and this is, this may or may not be, this is for March, okay? But keep in mind that the timing is fluid, but I'm saying this is for March, and when this gets done, I'm going to do a reading six months from now. <laughs> it's just, it's just for fun, right? Six months from now, it's just perhaps, all right? Um, I know that there's going to be cross watchers that are watching. Yes, years will be done too. You're just going to have to be patient. So I'm doing these back to back. So I'm going to do Libra's March 2020. And then I'm going to do Libra's six months from now. Taurus and Pisces have already been done. What do we have for Libra March 2020? What do we have for Libra? Ooh. Yee. Now this is your tower. Okay, that is your tower card. You make major disruption. Um, there's some misalignment, right? There's a need for a realignment, obviously. We have somebody here that is very, very stubborn. Um, they're blocking their own success. They're blocking their emotions. Uh, holding on to something that doesn't serve them. So this month you may be um, feeling the pain, feeling the anxiety, feeling discomfort. Okay, over something that you know, you know, you probably have to let go of something and it's not easy. So there is definitely, uh, definitely a level of discomfort in March. There is, okay. Now the tower is something, you know, it's usually a shocking change. It's a life change. There's some sort of situation that is going to happen that is going to force change. Okay, so be prepared for that. Okay, it's like the universe, because this is a universe card, is forcing a change, whether you like it or not. So there's going to be some sort of major disruption in your life that it's necessary, because it's going to put, it's going to align things the way to where they're supposed to be. Okay, so right now there's a misalignment in your life. You may be in denial over it. You may not want to let something go. You may not want to... Uh, deal with some sort of pain, but you're going to have to, okay? There's something that you have to deal with, and um, so, yeah, you're going to be forced to deal with it. One card for Libra. True love. This love is once-in-a-lifetime love. So, something about true love. Wonderful. So... Hmm. What do we have for March? We have a realignment that leads you to love. That's what this is. Some sort of disruption that leads you to love. True love. I saw that one flip. The Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is on thin ice. Yep. Now, there could be some poor health. There's some financial burdens. There's also consequences when you get the Five of Pentacles. It's feeling like an outcast. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Not putting in very much effort. Giving up. Not me. Some of you may... I don't know if somebody has lost a job or they're having a hard time finding work. There's not enough money. Um... The job's not paying well. Something about a lack of money. Now we have the end. Now somebody could uh, uh, be being. I'm not trying to be scare anybody, but they could be being laid off. And I don't. I don't say. I don't think I've. I don't know if I've ever said that. But this is the end of something that. And maybe that's why the tower needs to come. Okay, the tower is going to come to remove you from a situation that is unstable. Okay, whether it's in your job or at home or whatever it is, it's an unstable situation. Um, this is coming to an end. The Ten of Swords is, is, is giving up. It's over. Goodbye. Um, it is the death of a situation. And it may have, it's the end. It could, it could have to do with a job or, or a relationship. Whatever it is, it's big. It's a major one. So there's a major ending here. Whatever this circumstance was that is that has ended, it 
it's taught you something because we have the owl here, which is wisdom. So it's made you wiser, whatever this is. Um, do be prepared for some sort of life change, okay? Oh my God, the world reversed and the three of pen. There's no more working here. There's no more working together. There's no teamwork. There's no collaboration. There's a lack of respect. Uh... It's like there's, and then when you get the world reversed, there could be a lack, a lack of will. Uh, there's frustrations. There's refusing to explore uh, new options. There's no success. There's no success. This is a universe card. So we have the universe that is causing a change in your life because there's just no, uh, There's no resolution here. There's no there's no gain. It's like you're not going to gain anything from this. No positive change will come of wherever you've been, okay? Interesting. Now, the world reversed is not learning from mistakes. Too much resistance, and there's resistance here. So we we have somebody here that is resisting change. Wow, the Knight of Swords reversed. It's like, there's fear. There's definitely fear. You could have somebody that is clueless. You know, ignorant, a know-it-all. Blames everybody. Somebody that is insincere. Now, this is an explosive energy, and this is an explosive energy. So, something could explode. Stuck, trapped. You're needing to protect yourself, or somebody is needing to protect themselves. Somebody is stuck. They are trapped. They are trapped in their head. They're not seeing a situation clearly. In March, I'm, in March, I think we have somebody here that is going to need to deal with some sort of challenge. There's, you're going to be faced with a challenge this month. There's no doubt about it. And you're going to need to find the strength and the willpower and the discipline to, to face it, to face it, to face this challenge. So you are going to be dealing with a challenge. It's almost like you've been put into a dangerous situation. I mean, this is, some, this is somebody who does something stupid, okay? So this could be somebody that does something stupid. This is somebody that uh, does something without thinking. It's really foolish behavior. Something has ended, and, and you're probably needing to protect yourself. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be. But this is ended. This is an ending. It's over. And maybe, maybe we do have some sort of... Uh, now, this is... Uh, the tower is a shock. It's a, it's a disruption. It's, it's, it's a painful uh, situation that needs change. So there's going to be some sort of upheaval. There is going to be some sort of upheaval. Well, you have you have a few people here that are in your life. I think you and these people might, somebody might be causing problems. They're causing problems and you're just wanting to get to that better place. I feel like you are headed in a new direction. You you got to be careful though because you may be headed towards somebody that doesn't have good intentions. I mean the king of cups in reverse is somebody that is cold, somebody that is withdrawn, somebody that doesn't communicate well. This person is very secretive, very um closed off emotionally. So be careful, be careful where you are going. I mean you you got to be careful. It feels like you could be headed towards somebody that presents themselves to be who they are not with these two cards right here. This is this is be really careful. Be careful. Be careful who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a snake, okay? You could be dealing with somebody that is untrustworthy, somebody that, you know, they say all the right things, but those are just words. Their actions are completely different than who they are. So, I and this person could be headed towards you as well. So this person could be headed towards you. You're dealing with somebody who likes to blame everybody, doesn't want to be held accountable for anything. So 
this could be somebody from your past, okay? Because it's, they, it's like there's unfinished business from the past. I think somebody from the past could be heading towards you or you could be heading towards them thinking that you can fix something, but you can't fix it, okay? This is, this it's not fixable. It's not fixable. It's not. It's not. There's no teamwork. There's no collaboration. And they may think that they can fix it. It's, But I don't see it being fixable. I think that you need to keep going. Do not let this person stall you, stall you from your healing process. This is healing, okay? So I think you've been through a healing process. You're learning to love yourself, and you're loving yourself more, and you're you're feeling more, more. You're feeling stronger. You are. You've gained a lot of strength, right? Because of this ending that you've been through, you have gained a lot of strength. You've been in a better place. Don't go towards somebody that doesn't have good intentions for you. It feels like there's somebody here that doesn't have good intentions that is going to say some things to you that aren't true. And you are going to need to discern the situation. I think we, we, you got somebody in your vicinity that doesn't really put in a lot of effort. Um, they say things that aren't, they don't have any intention of following through with the words. I see you protecting yourself from this person. I think that you've done you've gained a lot of strength and willpower and discipline and self confidence and self esteem and I think that you've done a lot of healing and you've it's like you have a lot to offer and it 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 feels like uh it feels like somebody it's like the, it's almost like they want to take from you yes. They do. Somebody's jealous of you. You do. You 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 have somebody that's jealous of you. You also have a you have a feminine here, and maybe there's a couple. There's a couple feminines. I, I, you know, I think that you got somebody who's jealous of you, especially if you're the female. If you are the female, I think you have somebody that is very jealous. Somebody that is very vindictive. You have a very vindictive energy here. Somebody that lies. This person is very controlling. Definitely does not want to be held accountable for any of their actions. You are dealing with somebody that is malicious. This person is malicious. Very controlling and re revengeful. Gossip. You you do. You have some gossip here. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo, because you have Leo here and Leo here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's like you're dealing with a gossip. You're dealing with somebody that is uh, very forceful and controlling. It's like you're under somebody's control. But I also feel like you have an opportunity for tender, loving care. So it's like you probably are going to receive some emotional support from somebody, a motherly figure that, you know, has some good uh, advice for you. This person is tender. This person is loving. This person is caring. This person is kind. So I think that you, you are going to, you, you're going to be dealing with a couple of people that are malicious. They don't have good intentions. Could be a father, could be a mother, could be a friends i don't know you definitely have a lot of people here that and it's like you do ha and i think you do there's a masculine here that doesn't have good intentions at all he he has another woman he has another woman but he may want your tender loving care okay um there's somebody that leads other people into danger doesn't care who they hurt very selfish energy so you, i think that you're dealing with somebody that is very selfish and they may not want you to leave them they may like the supply that you give them Okay, so anyway, this month, I feel like you will be defending yourself and, and protecting yourself from from getting hurt or somebody's going to be protecting you. You may be having somebody that is protecting you. That's like, get away, get away. So you may be protected. Um, there's something to do with a counselor as well. So there could be a counselor here that is, that is guiding you, that is helping you, that is giving you some good sound advice. We definitely have a couple of people here that don't have good intentions. So you want to be very, very, very careful. Okay. Um, these people place blame. They don't want to be held accountable for any of their actions at all. Um, what is going to happen? No love, uh, shutting down emotionally, no reciprocation. Uh, you do have somebody here that is not open for love, okay? They don't even know what love is. They're emotionally unavailable. And I think that there's probably going to be some tears that are shed. <sighs> Uh, 
it's almost like I'm not sure if somebody's going to get hurt because this is out of control. The Knight of Swords reversed is out of control. And this is tears, sadness. And this is very emotional as well. The King of Cups in reverse. So I'm not sure what is happening, but it's probably going to be an emotional month. horrendous loss of some sort the wheel of fortune the, the past coming back to haunt you or somebody has repeated their mistakes and they're not learning their lessons we have the world reversed and the wheel of fortune reversed so i think there's going to be some sort of loss because somebody is resisting change there is okay i'm sorry i'm not trying to scare you libra but this is about choices and this is about consequences. You see this card says choose wisely. Be careful because what you own owns you. Be careful with your choices. There will be consequences for the choices that you make. So somebody is going to be suffering some consequences for a choice that they have made. Whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with. Because this can always be the person that you are dealing with. When you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it is not good luck. It is not good fortune. It is a setback. It is bad luck. It is a fall from grace. It is negative repetitive patterns. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. It's the past coming back. Somebody didn't learn a lesson. It is a horrendous loss that is a shock. And it is going to be a shock. It's like the universe is co coming in to... Um, cause some sort of upheaval, disturbance, this is going to happen because it's time for a realignment. It's time for a positive change. It's time to uh, let go of this very difficult situation where there was a lack of teamwork, there's a lack of respect, there was abuse, there was mental, somebody may have some mental issues as well. Okay, with the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay, that's, there could be somebody that has some mental dysfunction here, you know, and they get, something gets, you know, out of control. There could be something that gets out of control and they could end up even be going to jail because the Eight of Swords can be jail. It can be jail time. It can be prison. It can be, be locked up, okay? Um, so somebody could end up getting locked up. They could end up... Uh, it is definitely going to be an emotional time. I think there's going to be a loss. There's going to be a setback. Somebody has been acting in a vindictive manner. And I think it's almost like karma. Okay. This is like the Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma. Okay. Somebody has been, and we have very controlling energy. And this could have to do with a mother. Something like that. Or a stepmother or something. We have somebody here that is very controlling. And I think that they are going to, you know... They're about to get a wake-up call by the looks of things. They're about to have a setback. It's like they're, they're, their need to control is going to bring them some sort of setback because they, they're clinging to control. We really have somebody here that is clinging to control. Now this person that is so controlling is going to have a big, huge emotional loss. So I do feel like uh, somebody is going to be suffering some sort of consequences for making a poor choice. And this may have to do with seven years ago, something, to, I don't know why, I think it has to do with seven years ago, um, something that you did seven years ago, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is coming back to the surface to be dealt with, it, it's time, it's time, it's time for this to end, it's time for this realignment, it's time for you to start with a clean slate. it's time for your freedom, it's time for you to come off of this thin ice, it's time for you to... Um, be taken care of. It's time for you to be loved. So, some of you may be headed, maybe you're moving, moving to some place where you're going to find love. There's going to be a lot of messages coming back and forth. In the month of March, things are going to be growing. Things are going to be blossoming. There's going to be change. March is a month of change for you. Big change. Huge change. Life change. There could be an accident here. It's like an accident. It's an, uh, what's serendipity? It's an unfortunate accident. Or it's a fortunate. It's a fortunate accident. It's an accident that changes somebody's life for the better. 
So I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there's definitely been some sort of injustice. I just cut it again. There's some, there's been some sort of injustice. Somebody hasn't been being treated fairly. There's been a lack of integrity. There's been a lot of lying. Um, and there's been an imbalance and now it's time. And this is karma. This is karma. So somebody is going to be getting some sort of karmic, uh, disruption in their life that changes their future so month is a, a month march is a big month for you there's going to be an ending but you are going to come out okay because i see your strength okay we have strength here and this is we, we, this is whatever but doesn't but doesn't kill you makes you stronger that's no kidding. Kill you stronger, stronger. So this disruption is just going to, it's going to make you stronger. So uh, be prepared for something to happen in March. It could be an accident of some sort. And, and uh, you know, actually, that's what the tower is. It's, a, it's an accident that was meant to happen so that, you know, you can change your future. And we have somebody here that has been resisting change big time. Big time, big time, big time, big time. Can't resist it anymore. I think that there's 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 an emotional shutdown. Somebody's leaving, okay? And they it's like they're they're going someplace. You know, um, it's sudden. It's a sudden departure. They're leaving without saying goodbye. So. Be prepared for that. Good luck. We're going to do the six months from now. Good luck, Libra.